Hey YouTube, so I have the driver's seat out of the Bluebird, and you're probably wondering what in the hell I'm thinking. That is an air seat base for a Bostrom, um, and I just pulled this seat off of the pedestal base to make sure it fits. And as you can see, one, two, three, and the other one, four, right there, they all fit perfectly. Um, this came out of a C2, I think. It's got this cool setting here. This is for the, this hooks into the shock absorber right here in the front. This guy. So, uh, you're probably wondering how I'm going to make this work in the Bluebird. Um, I have the parts and I will show you guys how to do it. In the meantime, I'm getting the base out just to make sure that we can, uh, that this will fit. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, more to come in a second. Okay, so the base is in. This has the seat. I've actually pulled the seat off. But this has it perfectly centered with the steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount it, and then I'm going to come back with an angle grinder and cut this excess right here that's hanging over the aisle off. Um, that way we can pull it back out here in a little bit and clean it up. But um, this will get it mounted and looking nice. Um, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to drill some new holes. That way um, we can... Once we cut this off, we'll just line the holes back up and it'll be good. So anyways, uh, more to come. All right, the seat is in. Now, I only have this bolt right here tightened. This one's loose. The other two on the other side are tight. Um, so here is my setup. This is a just a cheapo um, Chinese uh, knockoff of the Vier dual cylinder units. And so here is the the inflation valve. Now what I'm doing, this black line in here is the original supply line. I cut it flush. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. Um, uh, we won't use that. What we're doing is on the end of this guy is a Schrader valve or a tire valve. And it goes into this guy right here, which if you look at the arrows right there, that's a one-way check valve. This This guy is next to my middle finger. And it goes straight into this T. So what it enables is air can go into the system, but it can't come back out. And so in order to keep from burning up the compressor, we're not putting it behind the supply line of the flipper valve here that airs up the seat. This valve will only be used to drain the seat. Um, so what we're going to do is the compressor, one side of the compressor will go into the T right here, and the other side will go into that air line right there that's going into the air bag. Eventually, what I plan on doing is, this is a momentary warning light switch. I need to test it because it's off of my spare Bluebird panel. Um, but I want to mount it either right here where the extra wiper switch was, or down here on the soft, medium, firm switch. And then um, that way I can just push it to air up the seat. But for now, what we're going to do just to test it out is we're going to use the cigarette lighter plug. Once I get this all cut smooth, then I'll wire it in for real because I still need to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, how I'm going to bring the wires out because they'll probably come through the wall here and then maybe out here and to the seat like through a loom or something. So I got to figure that out, clean this mess up, I know, but uh, let's uh, hook this guy up and we'll test it. So basically this is a quick connect fitting. So you push these in to release the, uh, the air hose, the air line, and then you just literally slide the air line into it. Of course I can't do it holding the phone and I didn't bring my tripod, but you just slide it in and it locks in. So let me get that done and I'm going to plug it in and we'll air the seat up. Now, I've already tested airing the seat up, and it works really good, but just to show you guys. All right, so the seat is in. God, that seat looks good on an air seat base. So here's how it works. So I think I said this before. I'm not sure. So you got a T right here. This side goes to the valve, which is right there. So the valve drains the seat. And then from here, it goes to the, uh, the airbag. The reason I put it here instead of before the valve is I don't want to turn the compressor on and burn it up because it can't compress air into the bag. 
So from here you got a one-way check valve so you can see the arrows indicating the float is allowed this way only. And then since the end of the air compressor hose has a tire valve stem uh, cap on it, I put a Schrader valve here. So it's Schrader to a quarter inch NPT male, female on this end of the uh, uh, one-way check valve, male on the other end, and then female off of the T. Um, let's air it up. Well, I guess it might help if I plug it in, huh? Okay, got her plugged in. Eventually it's gonna get wired in to a, a momentary switch, maybe like this one, a manual switch. I don't know, I may put it right here where the wiper switch used to be, or I may not. I may put it somewhere else, but we'll air it up. So we're airing up right now. And seat is not raised up quite yet. There it goes. That should be good. Turn it off right there. And then, yeah, so. There's our air seat. Now this is just a little bit firm for how I like it, so I'm gonna let some air out. And that's about perfect. Maybe a little bit more. Let's see. So the only thing that sucks is this doesn't air up quite as quickly as an air tank would, like from that bus. That's okay though, because, yeah. There you go. It's actually quite comfortable. So uh, thanks to Kyle who got this for me. Uh, he s snagged this from uh, from his, uh, his work because they said they were going to uh, they pulled this out of another bus that they were going to throw it away. I think it was out of a C2. Um, the seat was bad. They don't, they don't, they just throw everything away. So, so pretty cool. Now I am going to cut this flush so that it's not over the aisle like that. Cause that's a trip hazard. And then this bolt right here is not, not attached right now to anything. Just that one and the two on the other side. And I'm going to replace these two with grade eight bolts. So it's stronger. So, but anyway, that's it guys, thanks for watching and thank you again Kyle.